video of snowy roads and parts of California prompted officials to give drivers a stern warning. We'll have it here in just a moment. They were telling drivers, if you don't have to be on the roads, stay home. We're looking for that video as we speak. A lot of the issues, they say, are people trying to avoid putting chains on their tires when they don't have four-wheel drive by using side roads. 616 in the 20s, it feels like the teens out there, and we're really keeping a close eye on tonight. That's why we're in a storm tracking alert, and why we're going to check in with Storm Center 7 meteorologist Kirsty Santi. Good morning. That's right here. So we are going to see that wintry mix arrive with our next storm system tonight. But getting you out the door for today, this morning, it really is all about the cold. We're waking up with temperatures about 10 degrees colder than yesterday morning. You can see as well the flag blowing just lightly here in the distance in Troy. It's also kind of breezy, so we have had wind chill values dipping uh, into the teens at times. Definitely need to give the kids an extra layer here this morning. Now, our road temperatures are going to be really important as the system moves in and out, so we will be paying very close attention. We get these live uh, road sensor conditions and temperatures for you, and we're able to share them. You can see right now, most of the pavement is actually below 32 degrees. So really being careful tonight if we transition to freezing rain, it's rain that freezes on contact to anything that's 32 degrees or colder. So we would have that chance tonight if the roads are this cold. That's what we're going to have to be monitoring as we head through the overnight hours and even into early tomorrow morning. So of course we'll be with you here through the night and into tomorrow to share that data with you. Now as you're getting the kids ready today, we already saw how cold it was this morning. It doesn't get much warmer. So they will definitely want gloves, hats, and scarves. Temperatures will reach the mid-30s this afternoon and that's normal. It's just all this month we've actually been so mild it's kind of hard to remember what's typical for January. Also not out of the question to see some winter weather, of course, it is winter still. Our advisory, that's for the northwestern half of the Miami Valley. It starts a little bit earlier up in Salina, Wapakoneta, Bell Fountain, even Urbana and Sydney at eight o'clock tonight. And then the rest of our counties here, it starts at 11. This is our storm system that will bring that wintry mess back to the Miami Valley. You can see there is some snow, sleet, freezing rain, and then a lot of rain with it. We're gonna mostly get rain from this storm. We will just have that small window tonight where we could see a wintry mix. Like Doppler 7 radar is dry for now, but as I mentioned before, Chief Meteorologist McCall Friday, I think she'll be using it a lot more at 11 o'clock tonight when she's tracking that mix as it moves in. You can see you're going to make it home from work without any problems. So if you're making plans maybe for dinner tonight, try to go early because we head towards about 10 o'clock or so. I think that's really when those snow showers will start moving in. So you can see by midnight, we've got some scattered snow showers. As the warm air moves in, we'll transition to sleet and some freezing rain. So we're Really watching the temperatures very early tomorrow morning, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. That's when maybe we could get some icy spots to develop, but we are well above freezing by 8 or 9, and that would help to make the roads a lot easier to drive on. For those cities that see the snow showers later tonight, you can see it's not very impressive, the totals, maybe an inch or so up in the far north, and then significantly less when you head down towards Dayton. And remember, by the time we head for Saturday morning, if you wake up at 8 or 9 a.m., at that point it's raining, so all that snow will have melted. We are going to deal with some gusty winds throughout the day tomorrow. You can see temperatures well into the 40s, so that's going to transition us to just rain throughout the day on Saturday. Future cast keeps those scattered showers around in the afternoon noon hours tomorrow, and then maybe in the evening here, 637, we might end with a few light flurries. The amount of rainfall will still be anywhere from about a half inch to an inch, and the wind is going to be a problem for us tomorrow. Just driving around in general on Saturday, 40 to possibly 50 mile per hour gusts in the afternoon and and evening. So you'll still want to be careful just in general on Saturday. By the time we end for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we are locked back into winter with temperatures below normal. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's check in with Sergeant Mark. Well, Kirsten, we've had very good driving conditions across the entire Miami Valley on this Friday morning drive. We're going to check in again with Traffic Tracker. They're checking 75, actually exiting off 75, and uh, just getting on to eastbound 70, not too far from Peter Heights. And we are looking at very good conditions here. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer, WHIO Triple Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. 620 at a time. This celebrate turns into a problem for one NFL player. Why there's now a war announced for Odell Beckham to wrap this morning. Breaking news. Weather and traffic. Weekdays starting at 425 a.m.